This segment brought to you by Kansas Regenerative Medicine Center. Your stem cells, your health, your life. Although the true origins of the maize probably go back to Neolithic times, the earliest mazes we know of were actually parts of architectural monuments built in Egypt and on Crete about 4,000 years ago. The most impressive of these architectural mazes were probably part of the Egyptian labyrinth, a vast palace complex located on the shores of a lake, seven days' journey up the Nile from the pyramids. The labyrinth was built by Pharaoh Amenemhet III in the 19th century B.C. It consisted of thousands of rooms and 12 large maze-like courtyards, which were probably intended to keep out unwelcome visitors. Amenemhet was fascinated by mazes, and he also created a fantastic life-size maze inside his nearby pyramid to thwart tomb robbers. According to the only two ancient historians who saw it with their own eyes, the Egyptian labyrinth was more impressive than the pyramids at Giza. Although archaeologists have found the site it once stood upon, nothing of this mysterious monument remains today. Another well-known architectural maze may have been found at the Minoan Palace at Gnosis on Crete. Built around the same time as the Egyptian labyrinth, Gnosis was a vast interconnected complex of small corridors, staircases, and private courts, and once consisted of perhaps 1,300 rooms spread over three acres of land. Spiral and labyrinth designs on coins and pottery, as well as hundreds of bullhorns carved in stone and wall paintings of young men leaping and charging over bulls can be found at the site. These are intriguing clues, since according to Greek legend, the Minotaur was a half-man and half-bull monster trapped within a labyrinth. Gives you a whole new appreciation for the corn maze, doesn't it? Sands Drew, veterinarian in Western Iowa. I have a veterinary clinic and uh, started doing stem cell therapy on dogs in August of 2014. And after the first two dogs, after three weeks, I saw such dramatic results. I said, hey, I have arthritis. I have joints really need this help. Where can I go to get this done? I had stem cell therapy done in November of 2014 on my finger joints, my hip, and the ball of my left foot, uh, all of which I'd had real severe problems with, saw a pretty dramatic uh, improvement in a short amount of time. I would certainly recommend that somebody don't wait until I'm in the position that I was in with the d damage already done to my joints. I encourage veterinarians to use it for their animals, and I encourage anybody who sees this video, if you have need, get in contact with these people because this is a phenomenal place to have this done.